Hi guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am actually going to dye my greys. I have so much greys, guys. Like, it's crazy. Can you see? Can you see my greys? I have so much of it. Now, some of you guys actually requested or sort of suggested that I try henna uh, to dry up to dry to dye my grays now i've had gray since i was about 2021 so it has been a very long time that i started growing grays and over the years it just got worse okay <laughs> like literally i have now so much grays it started literally as a patch somewhere here and then it just progressed and pretty much the whole of my edges it's great so <laughs> um i normally don't mind my grays to be honest some of you guys know that you know i rock my grays like this i go to work like this i do pretty much everything with it like this so it's not really so much of a problem for me because it's something that i've had for so long now and I've, i guess i've just got really comfortable and accepted it before i used to hide it i used to use um hair mascara so basically it's like mascara for hair so essentially you just brush the greens with it and then it goes dark but the only problem with that is that um anytime that i wash my face let's say i had a shower or just wash my face it would definitely go off so i had to constantly reapply and to be honest i just couldn't be bothered you know like sometimes i just couldn't be bothered to always remember to put the hair mascara on every time that i was going out imagine every single time having to think about oh no i need to hide this so i just decided to embrace it and just you know uh, rock it as it is to be honest um and yeah it hasn't really been a problem for me the reason why i didn't want to dye my grays is because i was always worried about damaging them um because i really have really thin edges um in my family everyone had, has thin edges so i always baby my edges guys because it's one of those things that i know if i'm not careful with i would definitely lose it and i've lost it a lot um, I mean over the years as well for postnatal shedding I grew back and then lost it again so yeah it's just it's just the whole journey with my edges so I'm a little bit careful with basically how I handle them because yeah I don't want my edges to fall out okay like, I don't want my edges to look weird um so that's why I've always been very cautious about dyeing it um, because I didn't want to make it weak there and cause it to break and then have empty edges but some of you guys suggested that I try henna because uh, that's a natural remedy and I've also done a bit of research around it and I, I think it's really good actually so I will give it a go I did go ahead and order some henna um, on Amazon and this is what I got so this is the one that I got from Amazon I don't know if this is like you know the main one but it seems like with this it's just one it's just like a one step i've seen other videos on youtube where people use henna and indigo um together together like on a two-step kind of thing so essentially you use henna first and then you go in with the indigo after but this one doesn't actually suggest that i need to do anything else after i use this so yeah i do hope it works you know i do hope that it works and if it does, I'm going to be really happy because, yeah, I really want to cover this greys. Like I said, not that it bothers me, but I think it would just be nice not to have greys. So this one says, let me just read the ingredients. It's a little bit different from the other. I don't know what the other hennies are, to be honest, because I've never used one before. It's already open because my daughter just, she was playing with it, guys. So <laughs> um, let me see what's in it. Okay, so for the instructions essentially all it says all it says for as instructions is empty a sachet into a bowl and then add 40 ml water and mix to form a uniform paste and then using an applicator brush so i think this comes with a brush and uh, it has a little brush inside so it says using an applicator brush focus on white hair allow color to develop for 30 minutes and then wash hair thoroughly with lukewarm water so it seems like it's a very straightforward process and yeah i'm quite happy to give it a go so just for the ingredients guys this is a little bit different so it says it contains henna uh, calcium peroxide something else that i can't pronounce that is it titanic acid 
cellulose gum, magnesium carbonate, amla powder, which is good. Amla powder is good. Sodium something, uh, shikai kai powder, nem powder, uh, sodium benzoate, and potassium sorbate. So it, it has some stuff in it that I can't recognize. I'm going to be completely honest, but I don't know. It says henna on it. So let's try it and see what what it is like so i'm gonna go ahead and make this guys i don't know how many sachet i'm going to make i'm only trying to dye just my edges um i don't want to dye like the rest of my hair because i don't know to be honest i don't know if maybe dyeing just my edges will make my hair have like two different colors because that will not be nice definitely um I mean like my edges getting being darker than the rest of my hair hopefully it matches it matches my hair you know fingers crossed so yeah I'm gonna go on and try it out so let's go and make this guys let's go make it it seems pretty quick because it says only 30 minutes like to leave it for 30 minutes and then wash it so hmm yeah let's just try it and I forgot to say guys this one says rich black so it's already black in color Okay guys, so I've got two containers here. I've got one that's empty and one with some water in it. Now in the empty one, I'm gonna pour the henna. I'm gonna use two, um, well, I used two sachets of the henna in this video, um, but it was too much. Like I literally made a lot and I did not use everything, um, which means, you know, it was literally a waste. And I was kind of annoyed with myself for doing that. It's just that I just didn't know exactly how much would have been enough for my hair. Um, so I didn't gauge it well. So if you perhaps just want to dye your edges Then perhaps just make one sachet because otherwise it's going to be quite a lot So I'm just going in here with some water just like the instructions recommended and I'm doing it gradually I didn't want to pour too much water in it to later on have a very runny consistency because if it's extremely hot, runny It's probably not going to hold on to your hair really well um, so I think you want to end up with just a slightly kind of thick consistency, but not too thick, if, if that kind of makes sense. So to achieve that, I literally just went in with the water very slowly and gradually until I got the desired consistency. Okay guys, so yeah, this is the kind of consistency that I ended up with. You can see it's slightly thick, but it's not too thick or runny either. So just the perfect consistency. And this is basically what my grays look like, guys. Like, I have so much grace is crazy so we'll just be dyeing my edges just like i said guys um so i'm just starting here by undoing just a twist that i have at the front just so i can have access to um my edges really well um and also maybe some bits of hair uh, slightly towards the back So it also said in the instruction guys that when you're using this you have to use it on pretty much dry hair um, so you don't need to mix the henna with anything else like any oil or anything like that so just water and also don't put any oil on your hair I think they said 24 hours before you apply this um, but I did have oil in my hair to be honest because I this was literally just after a wash day um, so I did have oil but it still worked so I guess perhaps, you know, if you have oil in your hair, you don't necessarily need to go wash your hair first before you do this. You can just try it and it might still end up being okay. So I'm just sort of brushing my edges here with the dye um, and also basically just the, basically just all the hair that's at the front. Um, I'm sort of going slightly back, back as well because that's as far as my grace goes at the front. Um, but as far as the hair itself is concerned, like, you know, apart from my edges, I didn't really do much to it. I just left it as was uh, because, yeah, I just wasn't, I didn't want to dye my entire hair. Um, so just, just the front bit, that's a bit more visible. So I just made sure that every single bit of my grays were covered. So you might need to take a bit of time to do this and also look perhaps in the mirror really well. So at least you know that you've covered everything so that, you know, when you wash it, you don't have some bits of gray still sticking out of the ones that you've dyed. I mean, from the ones that you've dyed. Um, so yeah, I'm just proceeding, repeating the same thing on the other side of my head. And then um, 
and then that's pretty much it really so i'm just gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes i think that's what it said on the packaging so let it sit for 30 minutes and then you can go ahead and wash it off um, with just cool water you don't need to use any shampoo um i think cool water will be absolutely fine that's what it said on there and that's what i did as well um so yeah now this is what it looks like guys 30 minutes later you can see that the henna had started to dry on my edges there um at this point i didn't really know whether the hair had, had taken up the dye until i went ahead and washed it um but yeah at this point it was it was dry and it was just ready to wash and this is basically what it looks like after i washed the henna from my hair you can see that it really covered all of my grays like literally everything is looking black quite uniform which is actually really good the one thing though is that the part that has been dyed has a slightly darker color than the actual color of my hair so it did sort of stand out a little but i didn't really mind it to be honest because it was just the front of my hair so as far as the dye is concerned it really works it does what it says on the tin and it's really quick as well because it literally took me only 30 minutes to do this which i think is fantastic so thank you so much guys if you recommended me to use henna i really appreciate it um so yeah this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe if you're not already um it's really important and then i'll catch you in my next video so thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye